picture is like a white guy dying on the plane. <laughs> I, I have the answer. If what? a passenger dies. Are you Googling it? Yes. The okay, body, what happens? The bodies are often moved to an empty row or business class away from <laughs> others on board. Hold on, Frank. Here's the funny part. The funny part is the people who pay the most for tickets yes, have to sit next to a body. I, I, I was literally just thinking <laughs> that. Can you imagine the guy in first class? I beg your pardon. Yeah, he'd be like, "You need to give me another like a bottle of champagne if I sit next to this." Oh, you, you made me spill my shot name moving that. If I'm gonna sit, <laughs> if I'm gonna sit next to this dead peasant, I need another drink. <laughs> he smells already. He's so poor. <laughs> But no, so here's the here's the here's the fucking the coup de gras. Uh, okay. They move away from others on board and covered by a rug. <laughs> That's the thing that I can't get over. A rug. Where is there a rug? A rug. A rug. And why would they have a rug <gasps> at all? Is it just a dead body rug? I maybe. Wait, why is it? Why is it a rug? Do they? Is that what the nor? Is that the normal body covering thing? A rug? I don't. I, sh- I would think it would be a sheet. Is that like industry standard body cup, dead body cover? This says, yeah. this thing says, if the crew determined the passenger died, they will generally leave them be until the plane lands. <laughs> Just leave the flight crew. Maybe, we'll, maybe it'll get better. Just leave them there. Look at this. The flight crew is not authorized to determine the cause of death or perform any complex medical exam, so it's standard for them to leave the body until they land. Once landed, the passengers deplane as usual. Can you imagine? <laughs> He's like, excuse me, sir. And you're like climbing over this corpse to just get your fucking carry on. No, you know what'll happen to me? Whenever I fly, I eat an edible and I take a nap. So I would miss the death. I would miss everything. Oh, I would wake up, walk down the aisle and then like wait for this guy to get out and get mad. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, look at this Ooh. fucking guy, Jesus! Wait, God, I forgot to tell it. you. I forgot to tell you guys the best part of the story. Okay, he was wearing a rug. No, I'm in the middle <laughs> seat, right? So I'm in the middle seat, and to my left, which is across the aisle, is the guy. And so immediately to my left is this young girl in like her 20s. And then to my right is this guy in his 30s who's like rough 30s, rough late 30s. And he's the one who was like, he had his phone out like he was ready to record. And I was like, if I have to fucking tell this guy not to record him, we're going to have like a little problem. And so the whole time this is happening, right next to the girl who's in the aisle, she like three flight attendants were there. Then the doctor runs over and that like, that's how bad he was because he dropped shit. Like it was a whole fucking thing. (laughs) And what, so, what what airline was it? Wow. Southwest. <laughs> it was Southwest. There's no yeah. entertainment on Southwest either. Well, here, so she had her headphones in, and I kept looking down at her phone, and it was like big text messages coming up across and at the screen, <laughs> and I was like, "What the? Who the fuck is she talking to?" And she's literally like hunched over, and like the flight attendants had to bump into her. Like the doctor had to bump into her to get to the person. And so the guy like comes to again and he's like, got a towel around his neck and he's like a little more normal looking. And so the doctor goes back to her seat and the whole plane starts clapping. And then, she, <laughs> and the girl that's sitting next to me, like pulls her headphones out of her ears and she goes, Oh my God, I missed it. And she goes, you didn't, why didn't you tell me? And I was like, um, and in my mind, I was like, cause I'm not going to tell you to go look at a guy who might be dying. Like, I don't know. What that, so <laughs> I don't she goes, did she know what she missed? No, she she goes, why didn't you tell me? And she goes, what happened? Did somebody get engaged? And we go, oh, no. <laughs> you should have been like, yep, yep, that's what happened. 